Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, I, or today, whenever you see this, <laughs> I would like to offer the Rune Elemental reading for the week of August 18th to the 24th. And if you're interested as to why I read for the runes instead, or the elements instead of the astrology, there's a video just in the description below. And I will go through the reading from in the pattern of the zodiac. So we'll start with fire. Um, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video if you enjoy this type of content, and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions. As long as we're respectful, what more can we ask for, right? And if you've never had your charts done and you want to kind of know what your elemental alignment is outside of your zodiac sign, there is a natal interpretation chart down below. Uh, it's not an affiliation or anything, it's just a really cool chart. It gives you your baseline zodiac chart with the houses and all the goodies in it. But then it goes down and breaks down your elemental alignments as well as 10 to 20 pages of a description that... <laughs> Even though it's done fairly generically because it only uses like birth date and location, it's surprisingly accurate as to like deep seated things. Uh, there's a few things in there that I keep going back to going, how can this possibly be right? Because it describes parts of who I am. So uh, if you're interested, that's linked down below so it's easier to access. Otherwise, we will get started with fire. Fire covers the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And Fire, you're starting off with a bang this week and a good one. You're starting off with Gibo, the Blessing and Generosity rune. Color of Deep Blue, Tarot Association is the Lovers. Your astrology is Pisces, so there's good energy, but it's also a little bit of your opposite. It's a sign of gifts, generosity, and giving coming together at relationships deepening. When you have Gibo show up, it's definitely a time of things are going the right way, especially in relationships. Relationship can be with your friends circle. You guys could be doing something like a guy's night, girl's night this week. Um, or it could be a couple's thing where you're, especially with the lovers coming in and Pisces. It's definitely a good week to plan a date night, drop the kids off at the grandparents' house and go do your thing. Um, but also it could be a relation because a relationship also is you and a business thing. So it could be that you get a surprise bonus this week or some kind of good news comes through that. And when you get a blessing, always be ready to share it with someone else. Not the exact same thing. Obviously, you get your <laughs> you get a financial bonus at work. You don't have to give that away, but do something to support someone else. So it's pay paying it forward energetically. Your second rune is one of the Elder Futharks. So this is a pow kind of a power rune. It is Uraz, color of dark green. Tarot association is the High Priestess. Astrology is Taurus, so it's a grounded energy, but it's also very much feminine coming in. Creative power, wisdom, and knowledge stands for good fortune and opportunity, and it ties into Gibo really well because Uraz brings in a little bit more amorous energy. So in these two, it's this is going to amplify the couple aspect of things. But you also have a lot of positive vibe coming through this week. If there is a new art project that you've been wanting to start or a new art journey that you've been wanting to get into with Taurus coming up, they're also saying this could be like a sculpting, a physical medium. Uh, clay is the first one that comes to mind. But it could be painting. It could be fiber arts, something along those lines like felt, felting. Um, this is a good week to really look into that. Maybe that's what the couples thing is, is where you and your partner get to go out and uh, learn a new art together, which would be really cool, honestly. Uh, but fire, it's really a positive week. You've got a lot of good things coming up. It's kind of coming up roses for you, and you've got that high priestess energy in Taurus. So it's really about the hearth, the home. It's not so much spreading things out, but it's also about remembering the spiritual in your relationships. And I don't care what relationship it is, if it's with your partner, with a friend, with a business, however it works, you can still use spiritual principles within that. Don't, you know, you don't have to preach it or any of that stuff, but be ethical, be moral, be 
um, in show integrity, things like that are really important. And that's the energy that comes through uh, with these two runes. So let's hop over to the next in our zodiac cycle or elemental cycle, Earth covering Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So Earth, let's see where you're at. Ooh, things are a little chilly to start off with for our Earth family. We have Isa, which is the ice rune, color of black. Tarot association is the hermit. Your astrology is the moon, so your planetary association is the moon. Uh, it is some kind of obstacle, coldness between people, a time to observe, but keep silent, refrain from comment. Earth, the runes have been not the most pleasant for you lately, but it's also not a big deal because you have the hermit and the moon. This is saying if things are being unclear, if things are being uh, obstructed, step back. Step away from the situation, put your feet on the ground, your earth after all, ground yourself, and meditate. Connect in with your intuition. The moon is the queen of the intuition, so you're tapping into that energy. The hermit card, everyone sees it as a loner, but the hermit is actually someone who is wise. They step away. They're not involved in the crowd. They're a little bit solitary, so this week is a good time to step away, recenter, reground. There's a lot of energy moving, even though it says ice, uh, but it's not. this is not the time to be actively involved. You're still kind of in that quiet stage where you need to watch what's happening this week. Your second rune is Fehu. Light red is your color. Tarot association is the tower. Astrology is Aries. So <laughs> a little creative destruction going on here. Uh, it's good luck, success, fertility, and harmony. Stepping back, observing, is what is going to allow you to see the things that need to be cleared out, the tower energy. So you're stepping back, you're stepping away, you're being the hermit for a moment. Could be most of the week. They're saying that this is not a short-term hermitage you're going with. But you're tapping into that energy of creativity by stepping away. So it could be the fact that your ice blockage is actually because you've been too social, that you've been too involved. This is a time to step back, to become quiet, become still. Um, one of the martial arts that I have studied over the years, in um, stillness is strength, and stillness is power. So to find the practice this week where you can be quiet, where you can access the success, the uh, fertility, if you will, and the harmony, because the world's chaos. The world's crazy right now. And Earth, you're a bit more tapped into it because you are connected in a much deeper way than the other elements to Gaia herself. And when she's feeling frustrated, it could trickle up a little bit. So this is a time to reground, reconnect with who you are, step away from the chaos. It's really not necessary for our Earth family this week to be involved in all that. So it's a good time to step back because by separating yourself from the world, from the situations, from, you know, go to your job, come home, don't do a lot of socializing is what I'm hearing. But take those times to reconnect with the family. That's grounding. Take time to reconnect with your hobbies, your artistic expression. Those are grounding as well. And this week for Earth is really about reconnecting with the core of who you are. So let's hop over to our air family of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And air, we are starting off, make sure I get the right one this time. Last time I got one of these runes, it was, I read the wrong one. Uh, this is Manaz, which is the man rune, color of deep red. Tarot card is the magician. We also have Jupiter coming in, so you got some good energy here. Uh, humankind, deep wisdom held in the body, mind, and spirit knowledge memory interdependence of the masculine and feminine within air this is saying you have all the tools that you need you've got jolly jupiter coming in who is a really good one to help with positive travel energy but you also have when jupiter comes in there's this light-hearted jolly expression think the um christmas carol the 19 late 80s version from BBC when you see the live action uh, 
present person. He's huge. He's big, dressed in green. Ho, 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 very happy. That's the vibe of Jupiter. Not always, but in this instance, Jupiter is very jolly and very happy, willing to help. You have the magician, meaning you have all the tools that you need. The Manaz is saying, you are embodied now. Find ways to access all of those deeper energies. Work with light codes, the DNA structures, and really allow that to build the wisdom within and help you understand the world without. Uh, let's see what your second one is. Because they're saying that this is a time for you to kind of express your more spiritual mystic side or your, they're saying business as well. So this could be you stepping into a leadership role, but it's really about understanding that you have the tools that you need to move forward. The situation that you're dealing with, whatever that may be, looks a lot more complicated than it really is because you're listening to other people. That rune is saying, or that rune, we'll say it this way. <laughs> this rune is saying, look within. The answers are there, body, mind, and spirit. Light codes, genetic memories, it could be a DNA memory you have the tools at your disposal that you need to move forward. So your second rune is, where'd we go? There it is, Laguz and water. Color of deep green, tarot association is the star. Your astrology is also tied into the moon. Unconscious intuitive intuition and mystery, psychic awareness, hidden sources of creativity. Air, you are all about the mind in general. You're either super intelligent or a little bit spacey because that's what air's nature is, is, that duality. But in this particular instance, it's about tapping into the secret parts of who you are, the, the subterranean, if you will, aspects of yourself. It's not the conscious thinking mind. It's not your beta brain. It's not the monkey mind. This is saying get into yourself. Your body has memories. Your DNA carries a memory. Uh, your organs carry memories. If you don't believe me, look up what happens when people get heart transplants. A uh, vegetarian gets a heart transplant from someone who eats chicken, suddenly they crave chicken. There's all sorts of weird things that happen because your body holds a memory. This is a computer, the thing between your ears, that's a computer, but your body holds a memory, your spirit holds memory. What these runes are bringing forward is this is a time with the magician. The tools are there. You have them all. Jupiter saying, have fun with this. Explore. See what you can do. See what comes forward. But with the moon and the star, it's going to be a little bit intuitive. But the star is saying, you only have one direction to go, and that is up right now, air. So really tap into that deeper energy, that deeper spirit of who you are. This week is very much about expansive growth but you're doing it from digging into the soil of the self. So, air, keep up the good work. Um, see, what, see what's going on down in the deeper parts of who you are because they're saying that that is definitely going to bring you into some shining light. So let's check on our water family with Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Oh, that's interesting. So Pisces, you get a similar rune to fire, and that is the Uraz rune with the color association of dark green. Tarot, high, uh, tarot association is the high priestess. Astrology is Taurus. Uh, creative power, wisdom, knowledge stands for good fortune, opportunity, and sexuality. So water. This week, you're starting off with a little bit of a bang. You're tapping into that... Uh, more feminine aspect of who you are, which is not so much overtly sexual, it's more sensual. So tap into the, the senses, touch, taste, feel, sight, smell. Get in, in tuned with your body, with Taurus as well, and Uraz and the dark green, we're talking about bringing yourself back to your body. Water, we get it. You wanna bounce out, you wanna be out there. Your water is the <laughs> escape artist and the dreamer Pisces is the worst, but water overall, that's what they do. Sometimes it's more of imagination and things like that. But this week, really get touched into your body. Really find a way to deepen your connection to yourself. Bring yourself back to the moment. Your second rune is the Rado rune, and it's long journey on horseback is the definition. Color of bright red. Tarot card is the Hierophant. 
astrology is Sagittarius, so we're working with a little bit of fire energy here. Uh, in physical journeys, especially pleasant ones, journeys that bring some positive development, it refers to a spiritual journey or self. The Uraz with Rado is saying, come back to yourself. Come back to this moment. The Hierophant is saying either you are going to be the teacher or you're going to be taught. This is a time to step into the role of teacher or student. It doesn't really matter at this point because a Hierophant can be either, depending on where it's at in a reading. But you also have Sagittarius, which is a little bit of a feisty one. So you've got this spark going on this week, Water, and it's really about stepping into embracing the physicality of that spark embracing yourself you are a spiritual being having a physical experience enjoy the physical doesn't mean go go crazy and you know do weird things but touch back into your body understand the senses the feeling of just skin to skin if you have a partner this is a great way to start learning more about tantra specifically because it's about the physical sensation awakening a spiritual experience and that's what they're wanting to bring forward for water this week is it's not just the journey for the journey it's the journey as a lesson in spiritual growth but your journey this week especially is more about the physical tap into your physical form start to understand it a little bit deeper so that you can actually enjoy life more and a little less escapism <laughs> so with that we will wrap our reading up here and the spirit have any other positives energies messages this week is about growth and they say that a lot but this one's really you have this option and you have all the tools at your disposal air emphasized there but you have all of this growth potential and it's not about the future it's not about over there it's about this now moment tapping back into yourself earth air fire water tap into the physical you are a spiritual being have a physical experience don't forget to enjoy the physical bodies these bodies can do a lot of fun things so tap into that give yourself a bubble bath give your partner a massage if you're single go get just a general stress relieving massage of some form tap into yourself it's not being selfish to take care of this body in a lot of Christian sects, and, as well, and oddly enough, in a lot of Eastern sects, and S-E-C-T, um, the physical form is a temple of a spiritual being. Take care of it. Enjoy it. Be ready to go on to the next world, but enjoy this while you have it. So, with that, we'll wrap up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, and we will see you in the next video.